Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. I'm uh, here chilling out at the shop Saturday. Uh, I just want to show you guys some of the trucks and also a truck that got completed that if I don't show you today, uh, this truck is gone and running and it's going to be all nasty and dirty. But first off, I got some of the trucks I want to show you too. Uh, a lot of the trucks are here. So here goes guys. Truck 141. Uh, then we'll loop around here. Show you a bunch of the trailers. And here starts the trucks. One I want to show you though is uh, truck 116 and that one's right here. You can see he's plugged in and he is ready to go Monday morning. This truck is a truck that was in the shop. Uh, this truck was in for quite a while. We painted the frame on it. We pretty much had this truck tore right apart. Everything was stripped off it except the cab and the front part. But from here on back, you can see it's all painted, it's all nice. And this thing's heading out in back into the nasty salt and grime of upstate New York. You can see right now, guys, it's about, oh, I wanna say like 18 to 20 degrees. Earlier it was 16. I don't know, maybe it's that cold again, but it had warmed up a little bit today. And it's cold again makes for a nasty mess on the roads. The roads are always like damp, wet, and they're spreading salt. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you this one real quick. This is uh, 2002. This is truck number 116. It's got a 550 cat with a 13 speed transmission. And uh, it's been a good truck for us. We owned this for quite a few years. This truck was actually an old Crow transport truck. And we, we brought this one in, painted it, kind of did our color. Now the new trucks I'm getting in, I'm not painting our color. Still good looking truck. It's got some, uh, what, 20 years old, I guess. So all this nice shiny paint. Hopefully the guys can keep it washed, keep it nice. Looks like he's headed out to a job site. What do you think, boys? You gonna say hi? Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, we got Caden and Denzel with us. I'll stop the beeping. All right, there's a few more trucks. Uh, we can't forget 144. Look at that one. The black one's in the shop. Uh, over here is truck 106 yet. That's it, guys. Well, there's a Sterling over there. Heading out, I wanted to show you truck 116 because that one is, that, this guy's been running. We've been busy enough. Always something to do. Most of our flatbeds are sitting there empty. Stone side slow, but there's always salt. There's always stuff to haul. Well, good evening, guys. I'm here at truck 144. Uh, he's hooked up to a dump trailer right now. He's going to be running a short load tomorrow. And uh, then later this week, it's going to be heading out. And I am going on a trip. Going to be gone for a few days. So, like, I had no chance to get show you guys the interior of this truck. And I was like, I'll show you a little bit tonight uh, in the dark. Uh, give you a little idea what it looks like 
so you can see up there we did that back lit like a blue try to match the outside pretty cool goes the whole way around and then there's big old speakers like two speakers there and then two speakers in the back uh, some super nice bright LEDs to light this dash light everything up but <clears throat> gives you a little idea what uh, what it looks like at night looks definitely looks pretty good and then back here uh, you can't quite see it let's see if I can turn these lights on there we go so you got all the interior done looking pretty good stitch that Flint Creek logo on thought that was pretty cool that looks really nice and then I think this is like a closet space up in here you got your lights and some controls over here he's got a heater for at night uh, that's just a rubber floor down there small bunk small uh, small bed but it's enough to give you a little nap if you need so it gives you a little idea what it looks like at night uh, interior right got some nice striping on the door this is nothing exotic you know guys and that's something that uh, in in our industry or in, in what I do like I look at some of these guys and you know they put like literally hundreds of thousands of dollars into the truck and they could have anywhere from 50 to 70 grand wrapped up just into the interior well this interior like I gotta make it practical because my guys like you can see these mats are a little muddy already my guys are in and out of the field uh, they're they're gonna get it dirty I just we're not we're not asphalt super truckers uh, we get in the field we get in a lot of salt nasty stuff so the guys do a really good job of keeping their trucks clean but it's just it is tough it is very tough I'll tell you there's some guys the guys that do stay more over the road you can tell a huge difference um, I, man I tell you like just coming in our driveway you know I wish we had asphalt driveway but it's you get stone dust and dirt and mud all up in it doesn't make it look very nice Give you a little shot here at night. When I put this truck together, I knew it wasn't going to be like a show quality truck because I didn't turn every bolt right. I mean, I, it, it's crazy the extent that uh, these guys go to. I think it's cool, but I do got to make it somewhat practical too. And I just, you know, I don't see spending three hundred fifty-four thousand dollars you know on a truck i'd rather have just a good looking truck going down the road which is what i feel this is i gotta turn my back lights on there we go you guys got a lot of money wrapped up into the interior again like our trucks and and i know there's a lot of you guys out there that got nice show trucks that do keep them very nice right but when you're loading corn and dust is blown over your truck or some of the stuff that we haul in and out of fields things like that it is a lot lot harder you know the guys you know like they'll beat on that one week and then the next week they're pulling a van trailer and they're bumping docks you know pulling a van trailer you're bumping docks your truck's not gonna really get dirty other than the road dirt it's not as hard to keep it nice so just a little uh just a little look at that truck you can see there's not many trucks here there's a couple there four of them there got a couple in the shop like i said i'm heading out for a few days and just for example guys like i'll show you truck 116 all right that truck just come out of the shop yesterday or one of the days actually in this video you'll see it hooked up earlier in this video hooked up to a flatbed but guess what he's hooked up to a van trailer right now so it gives you a little idea of the variety of work that we do 
we do a lot of different things yeah from van to reefer to flatbed to dump trailer we get off-road on-road it varies so much uh, and then also a lot of local hauling all right guys so I got a little trip no I'm not planning on purchasing anything on this trip uh, just a little quick getaway for two days and uh, three days maybe and I'll be back in town I say I get away it's actually a business trip be back in town and uh, keep you guys posted well good morning guys I'm out here in the shop and I figured I'd show you real quick truck 147 here is almost ready to go they're just wrapping it up we got the hood on got the new wheel all that good stuff so just about ready to send it out well guys happy uh, Monday morning I am here it's a beautiful day but not a good day for one of our trucks again you get you get one of those calls uh, kind of frustrating right and uh, one of our guys have been in an accident so let's see if I can zoom in there you can see a little bit of the car but anyway he was cruising along and this guy ran into the back of him so not good but thankfully again nobody was hurt nobody uh nobody had to go to the hospital in the ambulance but there is probably some damage i didn't see at the look at the back of the spider but i'm pretty sure the car is going to need to be towed oops looks like we got a car coming here part of trucking you run lots of miles hundreds of thousands of miles a year you're going to have uh you're going to have something go wrong and i just you know i these are something that is like whenever there's an accident i just i hope and pray it's not our fault and i hope and pray not anybody's hurt you know so those are the those are the two things it's just it's unfortunate but it happens well well let's go see if we did any damage thankfully it was not even a what half a mile up the road so I don't know if the guy, well, I don't know exactly what happened. I'll find out the details. If he was just starting to slow down and the guy didn't see it. Um, it was like just before the knoll that you kind of crest the knoll and then it's a hill that kind of goes down to our driveway. So the guys would have probably just started slowing down somewhere right in there. Finally, a gorgeous day. We've had so many days of rain and clouds. It gets discouraging after a while. Hey, buddy. Hey, you doing okay, man? Yeah, a little shook up. I mean, I'm okay. I mean, yeah. no injuries, you know, nothing of that nature, but uh, just kind of a little shook up a little bit. I hear you. I tried to avoid him. I did the best I could. I mean, he just I came out and... Ran, not, ran into the back of you? Yeah, nothing I could do. I mean, I seen him creeping to the intersection. He come to a stop. So I was coming down the hill. So he hit you sideways. Yeah, he yeah he uh, kind of like three quarters of the way. He was into the turn, and kind of his right front would have caught this back tire. You can see the gash in the tire there, to where he actually hit it. Oh, I see that. Yeah. So he. Had oh, so you were leaving? No, I was coming down the hill. So he was coming. He was coming off of Whitney and making Road. Making a left. Right. He was coming off gotcha. of Whitney Road to make the left, and I was coming down the hill. Gotcha. So okay. when I seen him stop, I kept coming. And then I seen him creeping, and he just pulled out. And I mean, I went as far off to the edge of the road as I could. Jim said yeah. he saw the whole video, and there's nothing I could do. I mean, yeah. I tried to avoid him. I'm just thankful that it wasn't another couple seconds sooner because I would have collected him broadside. Yep. I just got no one was hurt. Yep. Did they say they're towing the car or no? Uh, he he thought that he could drive it home. That's okay. what he wanted to do. He was like, well, I think I can get it home. I don't want to have it towed, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So, I mean, I don't know, but that's what he thought. All right, we'll go. Uh, I'm going to check out this tire. Okay, bud. So, you guys heard a little bit of the story there. Looks, you can see the marks on the tires. Hop out here. Yeah, so I thought he was coming out the other road. But, yeah, you can see the scrape marks. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, it wasn't. Um, now we just got to get in the shop and have uh, have Trevor take a look at it. All right, guys. 
never never know what's gonna happen in a day but our Monday morning got packed with a little bit of action here comes a professional Trevor's gonna check it out I got a good picture for Instagram and Facebook over here look at that thing so if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram check out Flint Creek Transport on either one and uh, give us a thumbs up or a like. Look at that rig. She's a beaut. Pulling that polished walking floor. So that trailer is about, it's almost two years old, that trailer. And that's how much shine it's got on it yet. Still got some good shine. I still remember uh, getting these trailers in like some of the first Titan walking floors that we ever purchased I was like you know at first I'm like ah, are they gonna do the job but I tell you what they have been absolutely solid trailers for us solid solid trailers they're built like a tank and on top of that they are good-looking trailers and they're light so very strong and very light. It's hard to get that combination, but we did it. And yeah, remember earlier in this video, I was talking about truck 116. It's good I, uh, it's good I did that video because I'm looking sloppy. So last week I was heading out of town and I get, we obviously, you know, we had this first accident where with truck 147, where the, uh, you know, the guy hit the front of the truck. So I, I had that. And then you have uh, this accident of our Red International where somebody literally just come right out and I'll put dash cam footage of that. So that was Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I get the call. One of our trucks was in another accident. Like it is like two accidents in two days. It's crazy. Uh, and I don't have any trailers here to show you uh, what it, what happened, but thankfully, again, nobody got hurt. Uh, it wasn't a, a bad accident, but I'll show you just to give you a little idea. Um, these aren't even the right trailers, but it happened to one of our belt trailers. There's a step that hangs right here in the back on the belt trailers, and a guy rear-ended one of our trucks on the throughway and hit the back of that. And I'll post some pictures of that um but i'll tell you what 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 a mess we we're like i was like what's next you know what <laughs> it is like monday tuesday i'm like what's gonna happen the next day uh thankfully nothing happened and and you know i guess they say things happen in threes right so we had three accidents so hopefully we don't have any more for a long long time uh these accidents obviously they all could have been much worse and thankfully they weren't it's something that uh you know i think of every day with the guys driving you know i say a prayer for them uh it, it is very challenging out on the road so but uh hopefully hopefully we get through the next winter uh and not have any more accidents hopefully it's all good well thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one peace out